Hello friends, this is React CRUD application tutorial series, and under this part, we will learn how to delete data from MySQL table under this React CRUD application. In previous part, we have seen how to edit user data under this React CRUD application by using PHP Edit API, and now under this part, we want to delete data from React application by using PHP Delete API. So for make delete data operation, under this React application, we have goes to user list component. And here we have to make one handle delete JavaScript function with user ID as parameter. Under this function, we have to write if statement and under condition, we have to write confirm statement with message like, are you sure you want to remove it? So if this condition true, then it will execute if block of code and under this block, we have to write JavaScript fetch API and under this, we have to define API link. And under this link, we have add and ID variable is equal to user ID variable. So here we have pass user ID with API link. And in second parameter, we have to write option like method set to delete. So it will use delete method. After this, we have to write then callback function. So this function will receive response from server. And under this function, we have to write response.json method. So it will convert data into JSON format. After this, again we have to write, then callback function, and this function will receive, data in JSON format. And under this function, we have to write, set users function, with previous user as argument. And under this function, we have to write, previous user dot filter method, with user as argument. And under this function, we have to write user.id variable value is not equal to user id variable value. So this code will display remaining user data on web page without refresh of web page. So here, our handle delete function is ready. Now we want to make delete button. So here, in action table column, we have to write button tag with type is equal to button. After this, we have to write on click attribute is equal to callback function. And under this function, we have called handle delete function and under argument, we have to write user dot ID variable. So when we have click on this button, then it will call this function. And then after, it will send delete data request to PHP delete API for delete data from database. Now we have goes to action.php file and here we have to write PHP code for delete user data. So here, we have to write if statement and under condition, we have to write dollar method variable is equal to delete. So if this condition true, then it will execute if block of code. Under this block, we have to write dollar data variable is equal to an array. In first key, we have to write double colon ID and in value, we have to write dollar get ID variable. So here, user ID value has been get from URL get variable, which we have been saved under local variable. Now for delete data, here we have to write dollar query variable is equal to query like delete from sample users table where id is equal to double colon id so this query will delete data from sample users table below this query we have to write dollar statement variable is equal to dollar connect variable with prepare method with dollar query variable as argument so this method will prepare query for execution and now, we want to execute query 
So here, we have to write dollar statement variable with execute method. And under this method, we have to write dollar data variable so it will execute above query. Now for send response to client, so here we have to write echo statement. And after this, we have to write JSON encode method, and under this, we have to write data in array format like success as key, and in value, we have to write done, so it will send response to client. So here our code is ready, now we have goes to browser, for test this delete data operation. So friends, here in browser, first we have refresh web page, and after refresh of web page, here we can see that, user data has been displayed on web page, and here in each row of data. We can see that, delete button has been created, in each of data. Now we want to delete this user data, so we have click on this, delete button. So after click on delete button, it has asked for delete data confirmation, with OK and cancel button. So we have click on cancel button, so after click on cancel button, here no data has been deleted. Now again we have click on delete button, and now again, it has asked for confirmation. But now we have click on OK button, and after click on OK button, here we can see that remaining data has been displayed on web page, without refresh of web page. So here, we have performed delete data operation, under this React CRUD application. So by React framework, we can perform all operation on single page, without going to another web page. So under this tutorial series, we have learned how to make CRUD application by using React framework as front end and PHP language as back end. So if you have learned anything new from this tutorial series, so please like this video and do not forget to subscribe this video channel so you can get updates of upcoming video tutorial.